in January the 10th of 2021, two years ago, the servant of God gave a prophecy and a warning on what God revealed to him concerning the country of Kenya and what was to take place three months later into that year on the month of March. I saw chaos. I saw a group of seven, seven people waking up and rebelling against because of certain things that will be announced and done that people will not be okay with it. And I saw people on the street fighting against authority. Notice the man of God specifically mentions that these events are to take place in March, the third month of that year. As I was checking prophetically the timings, Alors que je le temps, and the Lord said to me, This will not take until three months from now. Dieu m'a dit, Cela ne prendra pas place jusqu'à trois mois. The man of God comes again that same year, 2021, in the month of April, and explains in depth the events that have been taking place behind the scenes that held back the manifestation of that prophecy in March. I gave and I prophesied about a specific time of our nation, Kenya. Yes, Kenya. And I told you some things will start exactly three months from now which is from January three months was till March but I'm fighting against riots riot. he single-handedly stood in the place of prayer and contended against the riots and civil unrest that he saw taking place on the third month of the year Sinking into deep intercession over the nation of Kenya, the servant of God in prayer held back every plan of the enemy that's meant to bring Kenya down. I'm fighting against riots. Riots. Yes. Riots. Je contre... I said what? Riots. Riots. Riot. Riot. The human nature pushes people to desire to see the manifestation of a prophecy more than desiring to enter fervent intercession. I know when such prophecy is given, people are always expecting to see the manifestation. But prophecy is to spare us. Mais la prophétie nous donne la possibilité de offrir If there is enough chose. prayers. S'il y a beaucoup plus de prières. But unfortunately, people hear prophecy and they go off. Mais malheureusement, d'autres personnes qui entendent la prophétie et partent de travers. Behold, exactly two years later, detail to detail, without missing an inch, that prophecy over Kenya has come to pass in the month of March, just as the prophet of God had foreseen. The Nairobi Central Business District swung between a ghost town and a racing field as a section of protesters dodged police lines and entered the deserted streets. As the morning set, cat and mouse games ensued on the streets of the capital as bands of protesters attempted to make their way to the KICC, the venue opposition leaders had picked as the starting point for the march to State House. And as Brenda Wanga now reports, tear gas, water cannons, stones, and other flying missiles were the stock of the trade in the Nairobi CBD. From early morning, the signs were clear that this was not going to be business as usual in the capital central business district. Heavy security presence along key buildings, particularly the KICC grounds, and with good reason. The historical grounds was the venue of the start of the demonstrations called by the opposition to protest against a number of issues. <laughs> including the high cost of living. The demonstrators started gathering in small numbers as early as 8 a.m., making their voices heard. The security agencies deployed, indicating that they were equally up to the task from the very start. Their brief to keep the protesters from accessing the CBD and the venue of their demonstration. But with each passing hour, the demonstrators' numbers grew, and so did their intent. Two hours into the protests, the streets of Nairobi were soon engulfed in clouds of tear gas smoke, choking the business life out of the streets and keeping those not involved in the demonstrations out of the streets as well. 
In the midst of the confrontations, destruction of property soon followed. Downtown Nairobi along Tomboya Street, bearing the brunt of the demonstrations. Angry protesters stopped from getting into the heart of the CBD, turned their wrath on installations by the roadside and nearby buildings. Pretty soon, it was a no-go zone, with roads barricaded, fire burning, perhaps an indicator of the rising political temperatures that have been bubbling under in a country that the opposition says is burdened by an increasingly high cost of living and the attendant challenges challenges that come with it. I saw an old man standing in this place of honor of giving a speech. What's our role when the prophet of God releases a prophecy? Is it a time to slouch, fold hands and relax? Some prophecies are released in order to push us into prayer and contend against the plan of the enemy in unison. Just as the story of Peter when he was arrested awaiting to be put to death by Herod the king, his prayers needed a strong backup from the church. The Bible in Acts 12.5 says, Fervent and persistent prayer for him was being met to God by the church. It is not somebody who came out and spoke that they are the one you have to point. No. It is a spirit that I see is there. It's the spirit that we need to combat and fight. So as a church, we need to be very sensitive in this I'm talking Sensitive in prayer. Nous devons être sensitifs dans la prière and fighting against the spirit et combattre cet esprit that is animating flesh qui anime la chair to fulfill his desire pour, a, pour accomplir ses désirs because somebody can be possessed of the spirit parce que quelqu'un peut être possédé d'un esprit just to fulfill the mandate of that desire of that evil spirit juste pour accomplir les désirs du mandat so de cet esprit so it is me a, a duty for me a prophet to announce alors, these things because it's my office pour moi en tant que prophète yes, parce que c'est mon office d'annoncer ces choses wrong to me et ça serait une erreur in this territory that the lord has placed me not to announce as a watchman what is happening positionné et ne pas annoncer ces choses comme by his grace Par, par sa grâce. This same statement was repeated by the prophet early this year on the 26th of February during the Sunday service. Take note of the inflection and emphasis in the words of the prophet on the need to arise in prayer for our great nation Kenya. This is indeed a spiritual battle. When you know that a nation is under attack of principalities, you see the nation divided. Why? Because it is a system of principalities. Pourquoi? Parce que c'est le système des principalités. They send fast. Ils envoient premièrement. Ahead of them. Au devant de. John of the Baptist. En Jean Baptiste. They also have a John of the Baptist. Ils ont aussi un Jean Baptiste. Whereby it Là-haut. comes to clear the way before them. Il vient pour préparer les chemins devant eux. Everybody expected that as this government sit like this. Tout le monde oh, espérait que comme on the name of the Lord, everything will be. Ce gouvernement mm. va entrer. Que comme ils appellent le nom du Seigneur, tout chose va être aplani. You will encounter double trouble. Laissez-moi vous dire, vous allez rencontrer les doubles de tout. Because anyone Parce que toute personne who acknowledges the name of Jesus in the kingdom of Satan, is de Satan, il est combattu doublement. So Christians should prepare themselves. Alors les chrétiens doivent se préparer, non pas à rencontrer la la la, but to be ready for war, mais d'être prêt à la bataille. Because you have publicly announced Parce que the nation to be Christian. In which world? Where Satan is cast down with anger? Doit être chrétienne. Dans quel monde où Satan? And then you can wake up, take your breakfast easily. Et tu peux te réveiller, tu prends ton petit déjeuner okay. dans le nom du chrétien. Quoi? You have declared war to the kingdom tu of Satan. Tu as déclaré la bataille contre and le royaume de Satan. And therefore, they will complicate the system. Alors ils vont même compliquer le système. And if there is no man Alors, si who's a functioning in the powers, qui fonctionne dans la puissance, the functioning of principalities, au dessus des fonctionnements des principalités, the nation shall be la nation sera assujettie à des complications. Nevertheless, fear not, Kenya, for the Lord has spoken once again. And he is on our side. The nation is in a situation in an estate whereby it looks like where are we going? But fear not, you shall see the deliverance of the Lord. When I say you shall see the deliverance of the Lord, the deliverance of the Lord can come in many ways that it is not in the mindset of man, but God. 